Evolution. Natural selection. We've all heard these phrases our entire lives, but how many of us have ever really understood what they mean or thought about their implications? Next slide. Suspect Randall Lynch, white male, age 32, 5 feet 10 inches tall, 175 pounds, shoulder length brown hair. Suspect Lynch is wanted in connection with multiple murders and rapes. This is Detective Peterson. Look, there's nothing here. Lynch must have gotten through the perimeter. And I want to know where that hole is. Unit 1, what you got? Unit 1, negative contact. Unit 2. Unit 2, we've hit a grate. We're turning back. Unit 3. Unit 3, we got nothing. Wait a minute. I see something moving. Let's take a look at what happened to homo Neanderthalus. Neanderthals were the undisputed masters of their environment for over 300,000 years. They must have thought that nothing would ever stand in the way of their dominance. Yeah, Unit 1, come in. Unit 1 here, over. Until we came along. Ray! Ray, where are you, Ray? Next thing you know, Neanderthals were gone. Why? Because two species cannot occupy the same ecological niche at the same time. Come on, do it. Come on, you just... The trigger. From the dawn of time until today, a single biological imperative has ruled every species that has ever existed on this planet. That's why you'll never win. Survival of the fittest. be needing complete confidentiality. Sorry, I'm late, That's all right. Excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be in touch. Hey, Ed. How's it going? Uh, fine. You know, uh, Coulter's looking for you. I know. I've got a prepper for court, but I promise I'll be back in time to go over last week's DNA differential well, report. With it's okay. They're finished. Finished? Stayed up all night. Kind of got on a roll. Ed, you're amazing. I owe you one. I'll see you. Y'all ready for court, Sloan? Absolutely. I've got the files right here. Randall Lynch raped three women, killed five men in the course of a week. Our DNA analysis has positively linked him to each victim. It's nice when they make our work so easy. I wouldn't categorize anything Lynch does as easy. What does that mean? Let me ask you something. 
Did you notice anything distinctive about Lynch's treatment of his victims? Other than the fact that he severed their heads? Only the men. Don't you think that might be significant? Let me ask you this. Why do you think he was so careless? He must have known the DNA would link him to the crimes. What does that tell you about his actions? I don't know. That he wanted to get caught? Or that he just didn't care? As an expert in the study of DNA, have you formed an opinion uh, within the bounds of reasonable scientific certainty as to whether the defendant, Randall Lynch's DNA, matched the blood and semen samples taken from each victim? I have. And what is that opinion? In each instance, the DNA samples taken at the scene of the crime matched exactly those of Randall Lynch. I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> Red. Mr. Lynch. And what is the likelihood that the DNA that you study could have come from any individual other than the defendant? Statistically, about one in 11 billion. You don't know me. Maybe I do. Mr. Lynch, one more outburst and you will be removed. So, Dr. Coulter, in your professional opinion, there is no one else who could have committed these crimes. That is correct. Your witness. You think you've proven something? You know nothing about me. Famous the defendant. What is going on? You will all die? I guess Izzy means it. Ugh, seems like more than a guess. It looked like you expected everything that happened. You practically dared Lynch to come after you. Let's just say I wasn't surprised. Come on, Anne. You've been evasive about Lynch all day. What's going on? I've made a discovery about Lynch. There's a genetic anomaly in his blood. He's... Oh! Sorry to interrupt, but we have a problem. Don't we always? I need some of your time. I'm sorry to be a pain, but we are down to the wire on this CDC grant application. Without the two of us going over these numbers, I am never going to get it in. Does it have to be tonight? Deadline is midnight. I've already gotten one extension. We do this now or we don't get the grant. Duty calls. What was that all about? I'm not sure. Grab a coffee? Gotta work. No, you look like you need some air. She was completely unfazed. And then when I asked her about it, she said, let's just say I wasn't surprised. Wait, what, what are you saying? You think Ann knew Lynch was gonna go after her? It was weird. She didn't even bat an eye. Hey, what is that about? She was about to tell me when Dr. Atwood interrupted. She said it had something to do with his DNA. Hmm. Did she ever say anything to you about that? Sloan, please. She didn't tell you, she didn't tell anybody. Yeah, I guess. So, what are you up to tonight? Oh, I think I'm gonna hit a movie. Do you wanna come? <laughs> I wish. I gotta head back to the lab. I gotta make up for the day I lost in court. I'll see ya.
Where's Bob? Don't know. Whatever. Uh, did Dr. Coulter leave yet? Nope. She's the only one still here. Thanks. clear out. It's the only way the killer could have escaped. It's two stories up. I know, but he didn't go by the guard and there's nothing on the security tape. Check the hospital. Maybe he broke the leg or something. Detective Ray Peterson, do you think you can handle a few questions? Do you have to do this right now? It's okay. Look, I'm real sorry you had to be the one who found the body. She's not a body. I understand you were close to Dr. Coulter. Do you have any idea who might want to do this to her? Besides Randall Lynch? Well, my first choice, too, but he's already in jail. No one would want to hurt Anna. You sure? There's no one in the lab who Detective might... Peterson. That's me. Tom Daniels, FBI. I don't remember calling in the feds. You didn't. Dr. Coulter had been doing some classified research for us. And I'm here to make sure that data isn't compromised by your investigation. I'll have to take her files with me back to the Bureau. No offense. Okay, just let me finish up here. Don't you think maybe the rest of your questions can wait till tomorrow? Looks like Dr. Park has been through enough for one day. Hmm? All right. We can pick it up tomorrow if there's anything else. Thank you, Dr. Parker. Is there someone who can drive you home? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can. Good. You get some rest. 